With me now is retired police lieutenant and national spokesman for the American Council on Public Safety, Randy Sutton. Randy, welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me, Liz. So the autopsy here showed Mario Woods was on drugs. Randy, what kind of drugs was he on? He was on a, a, a combination. He had quite a cocktail. Methamphetamine, uh, THC, which is marijuana, and uh, different prescription drugs, as well as uh, cough syrup, codeine. Uh, so what you had here was a, a number of different narcotics that go into the system and, and make the system haywire. Uh, and how does, this, how does this change the case moving forward? This wasn't something that was known, at least publicly, before this. Well, you know, every police officer who saw what took place knew that there were drugs involved in this. Uh, let's, let's, look at, let's examine this, okay? Mario Woods was a career criminal from the time he was a child. They're not releasing his, his juvenile criminal record, but he had a number of arrests. As soon as he turned uh, of, of uh, adult age, he wound up committing a serious crime and wound up spending uh, several years in prison. Just after he got out of prison, he makes the conscious decision one, once again to join the gang that he was a part of, a criminal gang, and then to use these narcotics. And then, while he's under the influence of this, he goes and he stabs an individual. The police get called. They try to take him into custody. They used every low lethality tool that they had available. They tried the bean bag. They tried the pepper spray. Neither of them worked. And unfortunately, the San Francisco Board of Supervisors headed by David Campos, seems to think that there has been some type of pixie dust that has been issued to police officers that they can just sprinkle on an individual and make him comply. Well, it doesn't work like that. The, the, the photographic evidence that, is, that was captured on a videotape shows this individual resisting arrest, failing to comply with the officers once again, and when he tried to escape from the uh, area where they had him contained, they shot him to death. This is an absolutely justifiable shooting, and for them to make a, a, a day of remembrance for a career criminal whose, whose only contributions have been negative is sickening.